Welcome to Mythic Deviant. I'm C. Gabriel, and today the Aesir Vanir War. The Aesir in Norse mythology are the gods of civilization, while the Vanir, the older gods, are the gods of nature, including human nature. So one would think that they would know not to go to war with one another since they kind of depend on each other, but no, no, they go to war. And in that war, there is enormous destruction. The Aesir have weapons and powers of death, while the Vanir have rejuvenation and powers of life. They could go on killing each other for eternity. Eventually, though, they do get tired of it, and they decide to just tr tr trade hostages and call it a day. However, they've taken down the wall that is around Asgard, so the community that they now live in together is no longer safe. So when a man approaches, Heimdall, the guardian of the gods, runs out to meet him. He says, who are you and why are you here? And the man says, I am a builder and I have come with a proposition. I would like to rebuild the wall for you. And Heimdall thinks, well, that could be interesting. Why don't you come in and speak to the council? And he leads him inside. Once inside, the man proposes that he takes nine months and he rebuild the Asgardian wall. And they think, well, nine months is a great time frame, but uh, what would that cost us? And the builder responds that he would like Freya, the goddess of love, sex, and death, and the sun, and the moon. And they all go, no, no, uh, that's not a deal. Particularly Freya is opposed. But then Loki steps up and says, why don't we chat about that for a moment? And he calls them all into the next room. And they go to talk about it. And Loki says, you know, he looks pretty desperate. He looks pretty stuck on Freya. I think we should talk him down. Make sure that he makes a deal he can't possibly keep. And that way, we get the wall, or most of the wall, for free. And they think about it, and finally they decide, yes, Freya is a dissenting voice in this. And they go back to the builder and say, okay, we will take your deal, but we can't give you nine months. We can only give you six months, and you can't have any help at all. Only you, and only six months. And the builder begins to say that's impossible, because it is, when he looks over and he sees Freya, and he says, I can do it, but I will need the help of my horse Svadalvarti. And at first the Aesir say no, but then Loki says, uh, let's let him use the horse. It's only a horse, just the one horse. And they agree, six months, the builder and Svadalvarti. And the builder begins to build immediately, and he builds from sun up to sundown every day and he works fantastically fast. Svadalbarti is amazing and can haul enormous amounts of stone across the plain and up to the Asgardian border in no time. And the Aesir are very nervous. And it gets down to the last day and it looks like the builder is going to finish. He only has a very small piece left. And they all grab Loki and they beat him, because that's what they do. And Loki says, but we all agreed to this and I have a plan. And they say, no, we are going to kill you if this actually turns into a deal. Loki says, not to worry, it will not. And so in the morning, the builder arrives, ready to do the very last piece of the wall when an incredibly appealing mare comes running over the hill and right past them. It has a fa fabulous mane that flows in the wind. It's a beautiful chestnut color and Spottlebarty takes off after it. And the builder yells and yells and yells, Spottlebarty, Spottlebarty, but Spottlebarty does not return until the next day when it is too late. So in the morning, the builder goes to the council and says, you tricked me, this was wrong, it was unfair, I was about to finish the wall. 
And they say, no, a deal is a deal. You did not keep your end of the bargain, so we are not going to pay you. And the builder turns into a giant and he goes to hurl something at them. It's important to note that giants are not actually giant. They're not big at all. But that's another thing. When Thor returns from probably out crushing giants again and immediately destroys the builder. Nine months later, Loki returns. He's got an eight-legged horse following him, his child. The child's name is Sleipnir and he gives him to Odin as a gift. Sleipnir can move in one step between different worlds. He can go back and forth between the land of the dead and the land of the living, making him the psychopomp of the community. And he is endlessly powerful in his ability to redeem. And that is the story of the war and the wall. <laughs>